three, two, one. Live. Welcome, everybody. It's a lonely Friday evening. We're going to Ohio. Um, we're reporting from the bunker. I just have the, the background set up in the bunker. It appears that everybody who is in the show has uh, unfortunately succumbed to the coronavirus. Oh. Passed away in the past two hours. Um, I will continue the show. As they say, the show must go on. But, uh, man, there's going to be a lot of time filling because everybody else, you know, like I said, I'm just kidding. They don't have the coronavirus. What's no, happening no, is... What happened? What's happening is Tom's not going to be here tonight, and Pat's running a little late. And Don is—I don't know where Don's at. He said he was going to come, but he hasn't come yet. But you know, as they say, the show must go on. So, what's been? Julie, we got we got a couple of people here. Julia's here. You can hear on the microphone. She talks. Hi. She's here with her friend Cassie, right? Yep. Hi. Okay. Cassie's in the house too. Jimmy's out in, on the audience land. Uh, let's see. So this week, the the well, we can talk about stuff I want to talk about because nobody else is here. The primaries happened last week, and since the last show happened, when we were on there last week, Bernie Sanders was on his way to winning the election. He was going to get the Democratic nomination. Is that somebody here? Mm -hmm. Pat. Who's there? Oh, somebody. No, nobody messes me. Usually they message me when they pull up. The whole two people who are watching. Mm -hmm. But listen, last week was the primary Super Tuesday. We voted. They voted in fucking 13, 14 different states in American Samoa. Right? And you know, like right when we were going there last week, we, you know, we were talking about Bernie and all that. And then, man, the fucking, for some reason, Pete dropped out. And then the other guy, who's the other guy? The fucking it was with Warren. Yeah, well, Warren was later, but then there was another guy that dropped out, too. Oh, Bloomberg dropped out and right before, or right after the thing, man, and it just fucked up everybody's chances to win the election. Fucked up Bernie's. Oh, I hear doors, man. We got people. We got people. It's got to be Pat, I bet. But so Bernie, oh, fucking, you know, he was he was, he was leading the polls. If you look at the betting betting odds, Bernie was, you know, I'm bored of my thing. Everybody's falling asleep. Hmm? Oh, I forgot to pass this. <laughs> no, but Bernie was supposed to, you know, he was going to win that shit. And then fucking Biden comes out of nowhere with the Joe Mentum, as they're calling it. And frankly, man, it just pissed me off. Like, who the fuck? I, I asked on Facebook. You know, who the fuck are these Joe Biden fans? Like, name one of them. I, I don't know any of them. Like, what are they over 90s? Is there, is there like fucking a whole concubine full of Joe Biden fans just sitting around chilling? Like, what are you people doing? Joe Biden? Guys, they know he fucking is. He thought his sister was his wife. Oh, whoops, I got you mixed up. You're on the other side. Who the fuck does that? Like, you know your wife. Like, when you put your hand around your wife, you know, you know her shape, right? Or you know she's there. It's not your fucking sister. What the fuck, man? Hold on for one second. We're going to have some dead air while I go get my iced tea. That happens. <coughs> oh, honey, all right, all right. Oh, here's Pat. No. Oh, we're live, buddy. We're live. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Nobody's here yet. It's up me and you. Who else is supposed to pull up? I think Don's coming here and Brian's going to show up. Right now, it's just me and you. Oh, shit, I got to pull up, man. Oh, you're fine. Well, Chris is going to send Mark at the end of the uh, oh, where nobody can be up, so let me pull up. I got you. I got you. All right, we're back on the thing here. Pat just pulled up. We're gonna we'll be rocking out here in a moment. I don't know what's up with Don, man. You think uh, you think Don just fucking? I don't know. Dropped out the race. Right, he just ended it or what? He's on the moon base now or what? Because that's it. He's all like No, he was. Uh, he's been. I don't know, man. He's been. Uh, he's been kind of all over the place this week, man. You want some pretzels? I'm not going to throw any pretzels. Choo poo. Choo poo. What's that? Shit. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Chipperinos, man. The um, if you're out there, <laughs> if you're out there in TV land, you want to type out, man. You want to talk about some stuff, you know, join me. Uh, we don't. Oh, we'll do some ASMR right now. Like, right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Smackaroonies again? Is it light or dark? One? Oh, that was the old bash. That one that I Cassie just had a birthday. No, dude, you don't. You look young as hell, so I'm assuming 20, maybe? 20? Yes, we're young, Cassie. I thought you were a couple of years old. I've been waiting to find where you are. No, seriously, I thought you was like 20, bro. She's 28 with two 
Crack we got a girl in the audience. Her name is Cassie. I'm assuming she's here for Cassandra or something like that. Yeah. She's got two kids, man. And she looks like she's 20 and she's 20. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, that's fine. It's cool. Well, let's check. Be a pet, or no. Hi, everybody. So what? Uh, have a seat, buddy. So, I mean, it, it might be a little chilly, but I think we can uh, make it. Uh, let's see if you're on camera. Right. Yeah, I thought you were 30. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So what's up, buddy? Good, man. How was uh, how's your week? All right. Oh, uh, it was good. I just got a work. I'm a little tired. Coronavirus? Uh, any any coronavirus? No coronavirus, man. I uh. Woo! No, no corona. I'm, I'm uh, corona free, man. They say you got a got a Heineken virus. They say 38 percent of people got the Bud Light virus. You know, got the Miller virus. Well, they say 38 percent of people won't drink Corona beer because of the coronavirus. It's crazy. Now let me ask you this. Oh wait, we need a microphone for you. Fuck. You don't have a microphone. Oh shit. I just maybe I'll, I'll sit over there. Oh yeah, I just give it give that. Julie, Julie doesn't. Oh, that's a nice and warm one. All right. Ooh, someone else. Is that someone there? Or is that the door? Hello? Well, I mean that would be the same way. You'd still be okay. Door. <laughs> right, right. You know, like what the fuck. Right. Okay. So I was talking about a microphone. What I was saying. Yeah. So I to answer your question. I am corona free, but uh, I'm. I'm Heineken. Well, have you had any beer since the outbreak? Yes. <laughs> what did you drink? I got the Heineken virus and the Miller virus. And the Miller Lite? Did you drink Miller Lite or Miller Lite? Miller Lite's my go-to beer, uh, domestic-wise. Yo, I do like the uh, the uh, crap beer. Uh, you know, Fat Heads. And What's Lakes your favorite and Fat Heads beer, man? Uh, I go with the IPA, the uh, Headhunter. Headhunter's beer. good, man. Headhunter's a little bit. Spooky Tooth, Spooky Tooth's not bad. Yeah. Spooky Tooth is like 10.9. That's What's one of the best that? beers on the planet. I'm not gonna lie, Spooky Tooth is so good. It's seasonal for seasonal, too bad it's seasonal though. Like, right. Like I should. They're seasonal, but better than the regular beer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what's your best session after you? Yeah. What's your best session beer there? My what? Sunshine Daydream. You like that? Yeah. Sunshine. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like, I like that. that. And I like the Spooky Tooth. Like she said, I like the Holly Jolly. Holly Jolly. There's, 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 a bad, there isn't a bad beer that fathead, but anything fatheads, man. What about Goggle Fogger? Goggle Fogger's awesome. Yeah, I give a Starlight, Starlight, I believe, is their Pilsner Starlight? or Lager. Pilsner or Lager. But they don't sell that that often. And it's, uh, I think it's a Lager beer, I want to say. No, Pilsner, excuse me. It's a fantastic beer, but they don't sell it too often. All right, so let's talk some calves, man. Since me and you are here, we can do some Yeah, calves. man, calves. All right, so on. Um, we've been losing. Tickets. We get free calves tickets because of our gym. Really? Oh, nice. Because yeah, of Planet, of Planet Fitness? Yeah. You do too, right? Through well, yeah. Well, I went to, you sign up and get a black card to get two free calves tickets. We, nice. we went to the game on Wednesday. Well, not Pat, but me and uh, Fernand and Mike. and. Yeah, I couldn't uh, go. We asked Pat to go, but he couldn't go. He had all work, right? right? Yeah, man. You should have told me earlier. That's how I told you. We can advance it. You know, well, these tickets they come up, have, man. They uh, come up like in two seconds. I don't have the privilege to work at home like you, man. I know. Uh, we'll do with this coronavirus, bro. I think they're gonna let us just work at home all the time, like telework and Yeah, right, right. right they had a right, meeting right. earlier. I don't know if we're supposed to talk about this, but you know what? Fuck you guys. The I, the VA, not you guys. I'm saying this no. I got you. In general, the people who make these decisions, but they had a meeting. Yeah. Shouts, shouts to the two people who are listening. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna stay low, but Don's, Don's, yeah. I think, I think Don's, uh, you know, whatever. Know. He's, uh, do you think he's okay? I hope so. I got a funny coronavirus story. Well, all right, what was, where not was that's like, funny, but you know, what I'm where was I, uh, where was I going with that? What was I talking about? You were, I think, what's something to do with your place of business because you said, oh, that's right. Know, the, uh, you know, don't say nothing about will, uh, you know, get you in trouble. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, hold on. They had the meeting today at work, right? Okay. And it was about the coronavirus, I'm assuming. Okay. And I don't know what's going to happen, but we're, we're assuming that they're just going to let us telework. Like, keep oh, telework. nice. So, so if I can telework fucking seven, five days a week, four days a week, whatever. <laughs> you know, it's like not even working. So uh, I had somebody that I know that works at a grocery store was telling me this story that a, uh, they returned at, the ser- at their customer service desk, they returned a product that was made in China, and they were afraid to use that product because it was from China. There were, there, there were just, everything is made. Well, I, I mean, that's that's just about everything that you can think of under the sun. 
That was a famous, uh, <laughs> that was a good uh, office episode where uh, Steve Carell is angry that everything is made in China and he goes ape shit. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you like The Office, Jimmy? No, I actually haven't seen that. You haven't seen it, okay, okay. I don't even yeah. like the office. But yeah, but you, you never, you know, to put it in perspective, I mean, you, I mean, that's, I mean, I, I can't uh, blame the paranoia, you know, and I'm surprised that that person hasn't seen more of that, you know. Hey, now, part of the show we was going to do, we got these, uh, these bubbles. What do you call them? Oh, God. <laughs> You're, uh, are you guys taking off? She's got to go. Her boyfriend just got called into work. He does a snow plow. Uh, oh, it's going to snow tonight? <laughs> oh, it's already <laughs> snowing. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. It sucks. All right. All right. We'll let right. Uh, we'll... Thanks, but I'll be back, back in. Sure. Get, what's your name? I didn't catch your name. Cassie. Cassie, Cassie. Cassie. Pat. Good to know you. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you in a couple. We'll see you again, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, do it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Talk to you guys. No. Or talk to you. You're yeah, well, what we're going to do... I just got to work, man. I got to work... Brain. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Got, I got these drafts from uh, Michigan, right? and okay. I want to do a whole. I want to do like drink the whole thing before the show. What kind of drafts are these? These are uh, th uh, THC. Ah, uh, yeah, I, couple, uh, I don't know how much is in there. You don't have to do that. Maybe. No, I want to. That's the whole point. Do you, like, you want to drink the, drink this one? It's almost to me. It's probably about right there. And then I'll drink the other hey, one. Where's, no, I that? ate two edibles just now. I just realized it. You're not, uh, you're not gonna fuck with any of the drafts. I already did drop oh, okay. and ate two edibles. All right, well, I'm going to drink the rest of these yeah. drops. Let's go down over here. Drink the whole thing. Yeah, no, we're live on the channel. We share you. No, I, is it anybody on or what's going yeah, on? Yeah, they get two, two viewers up here. We're going green. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'll sit here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Is it Martin? Hi. Is the... Can, can anybody out there can you hear us? Let me see. Yep, talk into the microphone. Hello. Talk louder. Just you know, go hello. Hello. Ah, right, talk hello. Oh, you gotta talk louder. Go hello. hello. Oh, hello. It says no. On the, oh fuck, these things they didn't think. See, here's the thing. I already have like a naturally <laughs> low voice. You know what I mean? The loud, loud. So, this, voice so, so this whole time you guys couldn't hear us. I go. All right. So, so wait. So, so we had two people listening. Range. So you told me we had two people listening for fucking ten minutes, and nobody said that we weren't even on. Now it's popping. Look. Now it's going. See, look. Right here, look right here. Those little green dots. Greetings from Earth Home Sid. Oh, All right, yeah. so anybody, everybody, again, welcome to the STD Podcast. I'm Joe. We got Pat. Julia's in the audience. Cassie just left. Sorry, I didn't hear any of that. Um, for the two of you are listening, uh, welcome. I'm sure maybe RJ and I don't know Tommy. Uh, listen, I don't know who's listening. Don, where are you at? But uh, we're yeah. worried about you. Yeah, Don apparently has the coronavirus. Come so, home. What's going on with Tom, man? Tom, uh, Tom, Tom, where are you at, man? T Tom just uh, has the coronavirus. Um, Is he? Probably family issue, I'm assuming. I would assume the coronavirus. You didn't tell, oh, okay, so you don't know. I really don't know. It's probably the case. Don't, 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 don't joke like that, man. You know, you could come. Very nobody, 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 nobody has nine it. cases in the, was there nine cases in the Washington, right? You don't know. What's, nobody has the coronavirus, bro. You don't know, man. Okay, so we're talking about calves, or what are we doing? We're doing yeah. The conspiracy, the government wants to take our attention away from the election. Uh -oh. That's that's kind of true, actually, you yeah. think? No? I mean, it's got to be a little bit true. They got to push it to the I mean... I don't mean to sound ignorant or anything, and I'm, I'm no doctor or nothing, but I mean, we got the, I mean, in past years, we had the bird flu, we had the swine flu, we had the West Nile virus. They were all near elections. Conspiracies, bro. Conspiracies. Well, it's yeah. like this, man. I'm people just saying. Are freaking out for no reason. They, they canceled the Arnold Schwarzenegger you know, Festival. Die of just the regular flu. You know that, right? Like, triple the population. People are just freaking out because coronavirus is new. Uh, well, the coronavirus has been around for. We gotta give her a microphone. You want Mike? Yeah, I'll sit over here. I don't need a Sure. Well, you can give her a mic. Yeah, people, people, people want to hear. We're gonna be on an audio podcast to too. Right people want to hear you. Oh yeah, put, put that chair over there. Yeah, and then, yeah I'll, I'll sit over there. It's fine. Yeah, you can sit in that spot. That way, the, the whole side of the table is connected. Oh, no, your your friend with the tinted van can uh, do what you guys say. Hey, yeah, watch the watch the thing. Don't burn the cord. You want a mic too? I don't know if we have. Um, let's see. I don't know how you. Do. No, because Brian's going to come over, I think. So Brian's going to need a mic. I posted on my Facebook page that they were live. Um, <laughs> I broke it. The, uh, now... Oh, wait. Let me move that. Let me move over here. Oh, careful. You're good. All right. That's good there. Let me move this here. Yeah, without Tom, man, the technical stuff is gone because, like, he doesn't, uh, you know... 
you know, Kim was making fun earlier. She's like, what are you doing this, dude? Nobody watches them again. Nobody's okay, so what were you saying about right, the, uh, <laughs> the, um, we got to roll another, uh, one. Oh, we got, um, roll. Oh, no, you, oh, yeah. you, you had a bunch of chips, bro. The, um, probably get rolling on call your son, bro. I don't know if that's, uh, I call everybody, bro, bro. Uh, no, no. Good parents. No, all right. Well, on child services, I mean. Here's the, the rest of these drops. Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Oh, it's a lot of weed. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gross. That was probably $20 worth of stuff. The other... It's about 1,000 milligrams. The Ooh. other three-fourths of the podcast are... Do not Ooh, up to three now. Do not condone Jones' actions, nor are we... We There's claim every responsibility for him because he's a bottle? grown ass man. What? The um, should I do the other bottle? You want me to roll? No, yeah, I'm just saying start drinking the other bottle. Okay, so should you let's... drink the other bottle? Yeah. yeah, do it. Okay, so I think it will. Well, we we're we talking about we're gonna talk about the cabs. Well, what's yeah? All right, so the gonna... the what do you think of Bickerstab? You like him? I like him. I mean, he's got experience, man. That's what they need. The right? I, I, they were they were they were kind of laying the. Uh, I mean, they had, they're on a what? They're on a four game losing streak. But they, I mean, they 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 were playing fucking. I was at that game against the Celtics on Wednesday. Yeah. And mother man, they were fucking balling, dude. A, AJ Sexer, or RJ, what the fuck? Is Sexton's first name? Colin. Colin Sexton. Was oh, he fucking, had two. He had two uh, monster games. Dude, back right? to he back, a, back to fucking yeah, like back. Thirty four and forty one, right? Yeah, back to back. He's like career highs and shit, man. He is. Uh, some people don't like him. They're, they're just like Garland and fucking. Kevin now, Porter Jr., who's my favorite personally. Now, the uh, well, they, they're tied with the worst record with of all teams, the Golden State. Yeah, Golden State. Now, isn't that fucking ridiculous? <laughs> and so they can have they have the possibility to get the number one overall seed in this summer's uh, who's the, draft. Who's is it? Mellow Ball. Who's the fucking number big pick this year? I know it's DeAndre something coming out of it's not Ball. Is it? Oh, um, there, there is a ball coming out. Leandro, the end, Langelo, Lamelo, Lamelo. There we go. Is it Lamelo or Lamelo? I want to say Lamelo. When's LeBron uh, LBJ Junior coming? LeBron would be like forty. Well, he was born in 03. He has, he's not in college yet. He's a senior in high school, right? So he's got. A he's while. not even a senior yet. Oh no! I thought it was. I was going to say he's got at least two or three years. Okay, Google. How old is LeBron James Jr.? But oh, yeah, so he's a freshman oh, in so high he's got, school. Okay, so he's got a while to go. So, okay, so he's a freshman this year. This is what, 20, 1920. Mm -hmm. So next year's 2021. He's a sophomore. 20. 122 is a junior. 2223 is a senior. So he'd be eligible, so, eligible for the 2023 draft. There's a possibility that they both can, both LeBrons can play at the same time. Man, LeBron would be in his 22nd 20, 20 season, though. No, no, no NBA players would play more than that. Play that many seasons. Yeah, but I mean, he could pull a bench starter and play. <laughs> oh, yeah, players. yeah. If you want, if you want, I think, I think that's what he wants to do. Yeah. Because I don't think there's ever been an NBA player who has been. Played with his father like the Griff, like the juniors, the Griffies, Griffies, yeah, the Griffies and the Ripkins and the, all the Buddy Bells and all them guys. Did uh, Cal Ripken Junior's dad? I don't think he's, he he met. He was a yeah, yeah. He was, he was yeah. Well, that's right. He was in the play. Oh yeah. Well, actually, the Griffies are the only persons to do it uh, on the players. Yeah, like, but the the Griffies Junior or Cal Ripken Senior coached his son, I believe. Yeah, Cal Ripken. I actually got all got baseball over there from Cal Ripken Senior. But um, but yeah, but as much as I love seeing Golden State, you know, suffering, and of course a lot has to do with you no know, Curry. Curry just came back, and then Clay Thomas was out. But I mean, it's not nice seeing them lose. But they have the possibility to get the number one overall pick in the draft, and with health, with a healthy Clay Thompson, a healthy Curry, and whoever they get, they might be back on top next year. Man, they ain't fair. Right I know there. it's ridiculous. It's that's like like that, the NBA man. shuts guys down for a little bit, and then they just like fucking that. do whatever they want. And if the Golden State Warriors get the number one fucking pick, there's gonna be a revolt. Oh yeah, there's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna happen too, probably. But I mean, well, it's just uh, that lottery. Though, I don't understand because the, the the Pelicans got the number one overall, and they were had like the fifth, sixth worst record or whatever. Well, it used to be it would start at 
25% for the top pick, and then go 22, 20, and go down from there. But now the first four picks, I think it's the first top four, first four teams, all got an equal chance of getting the top pick. So, like, it'd be all this cold stay. I'm sure the Knicks are in there, shit like that. <laughs> but there's no, there's no, there's no Zion coronavirus. There's no <laughs> yeah, coronavirus. There's no, uh, I'll do. We're about to hit 20 minutes we'll and 20 there. seconds in 2020. In five, four, wow. three, two, one. It's 2020. It's into the show in 2020. It was a year. It was just uh, the show 2020 deal with you down. But, um, Oh, I swear what happened? No, we were at the, the show. There's a timer up in the corner. Okay. And we were at 20 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, okay. So 2020 and 2020. Oh, right. nice. Because oh, it's going to happen every episode. What were you just saying? Every show. Every show is going to happen this year. Fuck yeah, man. So what were you, what were you just saying? We're supposed to talk about LeBron, right? No, just... LeBron Jr. Yeah, LeBron Jr. Um, no, well, it'll be 20, 2023. Then LeBron will be like 39, about to be 40 that year. Mm-hmm. So well, he, he has two more years on his contract, right, with L.A. Yeah. So he'll have to sign like a two, three-year deal, something like that. With that back door over there, it keeps opening. Uh, Kayla's coming and Christian's coming. Oh, okay, cool. You think uh, you think uh, he'll ever come back to Cleveland for a third stint, finish his career with Cleveland? I think they'll have I don't, I don't really want him to, like – I mean, the way you fucking dogged us both times, like sign a deal. Well, what the fuck do you owe to LA? You, like fuck LA. You know? Are you are you angry that you left the second time? I mean, it, I'm I'm, I'm, ap- I'm apathetic, but I mean, it's like, why would you do that? You come here, you, you own the town if you stay. You go to LA, you got a chance to win because he's the seventh best Laker in NBA history. Think about the it. The way I see it, though, he he followed up with his promise. He promised a championship. It wasn't like Miami where he goes not one, not two, not three. He promised a championship in that letter. He fulfilled that promise. He, uh, you know, he. Uh, LeBron, ever since he was justice, little, man, he uh, redeemed himself in my eyes. I think I can never be angry. And I'm, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm apathetic. I'm not gonna hate anything. I'm not gonna call names like I did before. He no. didn't did bring us a championship. I didn't know you back in 2010, but I would assume that you were. Uh, oh, did I burn the jersey out here? I called him the N word on Facebook. It's the <laughs> only time I've ever dropped the N bomb on Facebook. I could, uh, I can only imagine the uh, Joe Burrell rants on that. Stupid effing N word mm-hmm. on Facebook. I left it up for about fifteen minutes. Man, <laughs> I, I was it. angry, man. I was angry. I just, there's still, if you look up on my my feed today, July night or July eighth, two thousand ten. There's a guy. It was ten years ago. Fuck, we're old. Oh my god. J- Jimmy was just a. He was like three months. He was still in diapers. <laughs> no baby talk. You were twelve. Jeez. Twelve. You're only twenty two. Wow. God damn, man. All these youngins, man. I know, right? I'm like 100. <laughs> I'm 39. I'll be 39 in May. Joe, you're holding my dad. What? Your dad's 42? Yo, 43? Yo, my dad. Your dad's 43. Oh, man. Well, Kayla's yeah, good. Dad, you're as old as my Your mom has an awesome husband. That's true. The um, And I am a pretty good dad, man. Of all the dads I know, I'm definitely in the top half. No, you're top. What do you... I don't know. Let's ask. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, out of all the dads you know, would you, would you rather me or another dad? I actually fucked it up. Take 100 dads, honestly. You would take 100 dads over this guy? Any dad, though, will be fine with. Oh, man. Well, I, mean, I, I see what he said, though. Bird. He just wants the shelter and the housing. He wants bad. Right, right, right. I mean, I mean it, it's, it's, 20, it's 2020. A lot of these kids out there. They don't even know their dad, bro. So, like, Sick bird. the fact no, that's a that's a compliment. He just I wants a dad, you know. I, I know I'm, a, I'm a placeholder. You know, I don't admit to going above and beyond. I'm there. I do things with the kids. I do what I'm expected to do. What I'm supposed to do. But I'm not gonna like pretend I'm fucking dad of the year. I, nor do I care to really even contend for dad of the year. Who gives a fuck about that title? You know what I mean, like everybody over tries on the parenting thing. You just overthink it. Just do what's natural and have some fun with your children, man. Yeah. Seriously, with the am I a good mom? I'm worried about being a good mom. Literally, stop. Like all you women out there, you know who I'm talking about. Shut up. No, you know what I'm talking about no, too. Go, keep it going, man. We need fucking. Ooh, we're up to four. Keep it going. Oh all shit! Right. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Murph's in the house. So is uh, that? Jason's in the house. Up to me. But um, the it says Lanky Cap and Cowboy Jersey screw. Yeah, I remember that when he came to the fucking Indians game as a guest of the fucking ownership back in 08. Who's that? LeBron. We, they invited him to the owner's box. 
Oh, and the Yankee. Yeah, yeah, in the, yeah. in the, the, that was the Midgets game. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I'm, a, seven, I'm uh, a Yankee fan. It's like, man, that was when we knew he was an idiot. Yeah. And we should have realized he was a bigger idiot. His own people, his own fans were booing him. Tap in the garage, I would say it's probably about 40-ish. The back door over here keeps opening and closing because the really wind's kicking it. So, like, the wind just takes the door. We got the heater going, but I don't know much fuel's in there. So, are you going to uh, speak of the Indians? Are you going to the home opener? I am not. Okay, it's a weird day. It's gonna be cold as fuck. It's gonna be yeah, it's it always cold. rains too. What's up with that? Oh yeah, dude, it literally yeah. always rains. March twenty six. This guy came out with an egg. All right, that's cool. Let me can see that. Well, Jimmy was showing us a, a Pokemon video, and this guy came out of an egg. Um, but uh, do they hatch? What Pokemon? I don't know no shit about Pokemon, man. Man, you feel nothing off drinking fucking that bottle of the stuff. Hey, What's going on? Oh, there's Kay. What's up, man? Oh, hey. Can you sing? Oh, All right, my, uh, my daughter's in the house. Kayla's in the house. She uh, From one of the best episodes. Yeah, episode from, from those of you who watch going back. Oh, we're up to five viewers now. Yeah. Episode five. No, episode two. We're, we're on episode 38 now. Episode two. Man, you don't even go to jail for that, bro. You can't help the pregnant one. No. Again? Okay. Well, you'll be all right. You only yeah. you, you ain't done shit in a couple of while. But the um, the I thought this was uh. You have the other one. No, this is just a cigarillo. Oh, it's right there. Where did you get this one from? Where, I told you I ripped man. it on accident. Oh. All right. So let's talk some. Oh, more. RJ's in the house. Oh. RJ. Oh, RJ's talking up. Oh, RJ, explain what's going on with Vegas, bro. You're going to Vegas with me. Ooh, you going to Vegas? Yeah, we're going to Vegas. Well, I'm going to Vegas. You want to go to Vegas? Four through the sixth. Four through the eighth. I would go to Vegas if uh, you would have planned. I don't like the way you planned it, man. You know I'm spastic, bro. And I, I know that, man. I, I, I was all down to change my vacation, but I don't, don't want to. Well, save it for Dallas. We'll go to Dallas. When's Dallas? Whenever the Browns play. Are they play? Oh, when does the schedule come out? April. Are they supposed to play? Are they playing there? They're playing in Dallas, yeah. Oh, they are playing in Dallas. What's the Jets are? Hold on. Yeah, we're, we're going down there, man. Right, as long right. as if it's Thanksgiving, maybe not, because I don't really want to. I, I'm not, it's not going to fly, but. Should we fly, not drive? No. Because you drive, you stay the day in Nashville, and you drive the next step. Is uh, the usual, is the gang going? Turn on. Oh. I'm. I'm going to spearhead the effort, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, I'm going to. Because if. Like, hey, sign language or something, because we'll. <laughs> Because last week, what had happened was we had like nine people in this bitch. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, there's like eight a, people talking over here. Shit show, man. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then, 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 dude, Christian or Don thought these guys were going out or some shit. And then, okay, we got to, um, <laughs> yeah, we, I'm going to Limp Bizkit Tribute. Oh, April 4th, April 3rd is going to be the comedy, the next comedy show. That's cool, man. This, you're going to a Limp Bizkit Tribute band? I'm not. No, no, he, he's going. Who is? Jason's going. Limp Bizkit, oh, okay. Limp is awesome, man. What do you know? Limp Bizkit, nah, not fan, not fan. Spirit Airlines has direct cheap flights to Dallas. Okay, where are you going? Where, well, Dallas is, or Dallas is one of the Browns playing, but oh. we're going to go to, uh, to, uh, Vegas. Well, I'm going to Vegas. RJ's trying to get the time off Did work. you say you're going to some show or something? Oh, well, the comedy show is the day before this Limp Bizkit tribute band concert. Oh, is it too early to talk about the comedy show we're going to Oh, is, that, is, it, is, it, is, it, is a Limp Bizkit tribute band really called Bimp Bliscuit? That's hilarious. I would call it Iggy Cookie or Soggy Waffle. Or uh, Yeah, we got into it last week. It was pretty gross when we did, but it was fun. Though. Call it rolling, 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 rolling. Hey, we got to talk about the... Uh, is it too early to talk about the uh, stand-up show? No, go ahead, man. All right, stop, Jimmy. Um, Ooh, we're up to seven viewers. Kayla came in with us. Eight! Holy fuck balls, man. Nine. I know. I do you want to come in? Do you want to come and give the announcement that you're gonna have the girl or what? I mean, do you want to come give the announcement? I, I mean, uh, <laughs> everybody already knew me. You told them. All right. Well, that was the that was the uh, the reveal. Um. So what was uh? Where who else was supposed to come? Uh, today. Isn't there three people that are supposed to come today? Where's fuck Don at? Where is Don at? Did he ever get back to you? Okay. No, check the group chat and see what the fuck Don's Don, if you're out there, we're really worried about you, man. <laughs> and, you, and you too, Tom. No, Tom said he's not coming. Tom's fine. Tom checked with this. 
True, but Don is not. He's not coming. But I'm trying to be an equal opportunity. No, I, at the Rock Hall is that the one where uh, who's okay. there, who's the the guy who's coming in there this year that, that we know? It was a it was a big famous. Rock Hall is um, Whitney Houston. Is it Joan Jett and the Blackhearts is going in this They've year? They've already been inducted. Oh, well, they should put them in so, again. They're a good group. Whitney Houston, the Doobie yes. Brothers. Biggie, Biggie got inducted. That's who it was. Biggie got inducted. Hey, RJ, do you know if Hologram Biggie is going to perform? Because if Hologram Biggie performs, oh, there's Mickey. Hey, hey what's up? If Hologram Biggie performs, then Hologram Tupac will show up. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, there's one. Oh, nine inch, no nine inch. The temp in the garage is probably about fifty, maybe forty five ish. Nine inch nails. Oh, got hey, don't worry about. It. I'll take. Close the door. The um. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. The temp's probably about. I would say it's probably about. No, I'd say it's about forty five ish. Fifty would be generous because I got a coat on. It's probably chilly outside. So it's pretty cool. We 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 didn't. We, I put some kerosene in there and it lit up, but. It's not like heating it like you would think. So why are we talking about the, the rock? Oh, we still have the microphone over there with Julia, hey. so too, yeah. Why are we talking about the rock hall inductions? Oh, because uh, RJ mentioned it. He said, I'm going to the rock hall induction ceremony May 2nd. Oh, awesome. How do you get tickets for that, man? I think you have was, to uh, apply for them. I didn't know that was open to the public. I thought it was one of those. It's on HBO. The last one was on HBO. Yeah, but I thought it was just, I thought it was like a closed uh, thing. I thought. If you want to borrow my HBO login, you can borrow it and let you watch it. Yeah, no, I'm talking about, I thought that it wasn't open to the public, the actual induction ceremony. I thought you had to be like in broadcasting or something or be affiliated with the, the, the band somehow. I oh, RJ, what what was, uh, what was we were just talking about? The, oh, the, the concert, what, the, the Rock Hall ceremony. How do you get tickets at? You just got to go down there. I know my buddy David Work was volunteering for. He said you just got to sign a sheet. Have you ever been to Rock Hall? A couple times. Yeah. It's a good place, man. I go there. It's not worth twenty bucks, but I go there when it's fucking. That is my dream job. Like if I, whenever I you don't want that job. My, my brother had that job. It's fucking garbage. No, I'm talking about curator. I'm talking about the yeah, doing the, the being the um in the exhibits, be the question and answer guy for the exhibits. Because I got a huge knowledge, man. I got a huge vast knowledge. The problem with the Rock Hall is that they don't have any hours. Like when my brother worked there. It was classified as part time during the busy times. You get you know thirty hours a week, whatever. But there was weeks that go by, you just get you know eight hours. What did he do there? He worked at a retail store and kind of shit like you would you would do generally. What do you do at the Rock Hall? He would work the retail store at the Rock oh, Hall, and then okay. you know just uh. No, if I'm gonna work at the Rock Hall. I want to be one of those. Uh, yeah, Curator was uh, that. That's what the not the Curator is. The, this uh, guy's bio shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 The, the exhibit, whatever that title was, the dude that stands in certain exhibits and answers questions. I don't think they have videos anymore. Hey, 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 if you guys are going to gossip, talk into the microphone so we can all hear you because it's a live show to the world. To the, you know, we're going to have listeners in four fucking countries because of Dennis listening to the show in four different countries. Hey, this is the first time you have all your, uh, your, 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 your kids here. This is the first oh, that's time right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. that's right. That's right. This might be the first podcast ever when all oh, three so are nice. Julia's kind of like a kid, but not really, though. No. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's uh. We, we were gonna originally the show was. Oh yeah, hold on. We got a we got a thing here. Come on, where, man. Where is everyone? Kayla is here. We're in the garage. Focus on what you're gonna say. Hold on. God damn. Kayla is in garage. Do you need picked up? Kayla is in garage. So our kids. Do you need picked up? I used to be your guide there. You have to take a class as a tour guide. Oh, oh that's your tour guide. That's your thing. Tour guide. How many hours? We, no, was, was it? Uh, it's called a Dawson. Did you get paid or did you? Uh, it was a volunteer. Were you just about to make an announcement? Yeah. What was we going to talk about? Hey, Google, cue announcement music. You need ride? Me tanto. No. Oh, that's right. We was going to talk about. We, this, <laughs> All right, now this was cool. All right, check it out. No, no, check it out. All right, hey, you, you can't. That's background noise, dude. Okay. Well, what, all right, so this is uh, what? All right, no, nobody, nobody addressed the fucking device. All right, damn it. All right, I bought this at the dispensary up in Michigan. Are you gonna drink it? Yeah, I'm gonna do the whole bottle. This what? is called Mary's Medicinal. Was this the announcement? Yeah. I thought it had something to do with your. No, no, no. Okay. Well, never mind. No, no. The um, no, it's a volunteer. See, you don't get paid shit, man. It sucks. But I'm a volunteer job. Yeah. Oh no, shit. Oh. Originally. Julia was gonna do this with me, but she pushed it out. So that's what, that's what my dad. My dad uh, volunteers at the uh, zoo. He's but a, they say you cannot overdose on weed. You listen to me. Mm -hmm. My dad uh, does something like that, but at the zoo. So he uh, he stands and he has to go through these classes, and uh, he like his favorite exhibit is the um, 
the PC enabling of primates, cats, mm -hmm. and aquatic building. So he basically will stand by certain exhibits, and if anybody has any questions, like you know, how red is a baboon's ass in the in May? That was you know, not worth that. fifty dollars. You know, it's cost me fifty bucks right there. The, 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 the baboon, which the baboons wait, at, the, at the zoo. I'm saying, my dear. Okay, so talking about similar to where I was talking. Shit, wait, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. You better not go this. <laughs> Whoa. Let me share over. It almost uh, so uh, so you guys probably didn't see that, but Joe tripped down a microphone and almost let in the heater. Hello. And we almost blew up. Yeah. Is somebody here? I don't know, man. Okay, so come on, man. Hold on. She keeps dropping, bro. This is my time to shine, man. Get off my leg. <laughs> Let me shine. Right, yeah, talk to the microphone. Really. What are you at? Like 2,500 milligrams about now? THC you consume? Okay. I'm not fucking doing anything. I'm not going to buy a shit no more. Okay, so. <laughs> do I need to repeat? <laughs> yeah, okay, the so. guy that thinks it was fucking. He got fucked up in the day. Okay, so. Have you, have you gone into something else or can I still <coughs> I was talking about did, did you hear what I said? Yeah, you're talking about the fucking okay. the fucking premium. My dad my, my dad similar to what I was talking about with the rock hall. My dad always loved the zoo. So after he retired, um he got a job at the zoo. It was a volunteer job. He had to go through all these classes and now he's like a question and answer guy um at the uh and he does a rainforest too. Okay. So um, that's something you always want. Could he? Know. Could you get? No. Could you get? Does he still do that? Or can you get? Could you get him free to this stuff or no? I who can I get him free? Like, could, could he get in people? Like, hook people up and shit. Like, hey, I'll take him back and see the zebras and shit. I don't think he can. I don't know how. I think he only has. I think he only has um, one person he can let in, which would be my mom. Uh, oh, like he put on a list or something. Yeah, I don't. I think only like one person. I mean, after after a couple of times. Oh, oh shit! Christian's in the house. I'm gonna use one person at a time. I don't know. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hey, bro? What are you guys talking about? Uh, right now we're talking about the zoo, we're actually. Seen What's your fucking man? zoo? Oh lord. Come on, man. The uh, so Pat's dad uh, he owns the zoo. All right. And oh, for real. Uh, talk, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Imagine the microphone is yeah, right. like, We got Christian in the house. He's uh, said in a couple shows. Oh shit. We got the, he's the youth of, uh... Yeah, so Pat's dad owns a series the, of zoos. The voice of the and youth for, Because uh, we're both old. Sure, now, the sure. Thing, the things, the You're thing a young guy, aren't you? Yeah, you yeah. I just think two? most people my age are stupid. Oh, come on. The so, thing, the thing with, Pat, with Pat's dad's zoos are is that each <laughs> zoo is bigger than the next zoo. So, like, the zoo he owns in Cleveland my is dad bigger than the zoo in Cincinnati, et cetera, et cetera. My dad volunteers at a zoo, doesn't he? You probably... <laughs> he owns I'm a, sure you didn't believe He that. owns all the zoos in the entire country. sure. You never know. You never know with this guy, though. Uh, you can get a guest into the rock hall. Now, can you? Can we play Lead Belly's guitar and or? Uh, touch oh, it? you know what? I want to put on James Brown's gold suit. I want to put on Please Jimi Hendrix's. I want to put on some bell bottoms, oh. man. Oh, thank you, sir. I want to wear. I want to wear a Sergeant Pepper's jacket so bad. Would you rather wear James Brown's coat or Michael Jackson's? Coat with the zippers on it, or would you rather wear the fucking Sergeant like Pepper? Wear his coat, and then I start dancing. I'm gonna wear right? a sequin. Like, <laughs> I'm, gonna wear a sequin <laughs> I'm gonna wear a sequin glove and John Lennon's Sergeant Pepper jacket at the same time. I heard. I, it. I happy man. I heard you wanted to do the John Lennon Yoko Ono cover, just going there naked. Yeah, 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 that'd be cool. War is over. Oh, uh, Christy, right. you just missed myself. it. Fucking ten seconds before I got here, drank this whole bottle of uh, <laughs> tincture or whatever. Yeah, the whole fucking oh, thing. Fuck. It's nothing. It's that shit. Do you have a favorite beetle? There are um, you drink both probably them. Paul. Yeah. Oh, I drank Paul. two. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, two. Paul is uh, he's the most. Do you have a favorite Beale Christian? Or are you too young to know who or the fuck we're talking about? I'm just he knows who the favorite right? what? Know. <laughs> he's a music. Do you have a favorite Beetle? <laughs> I don't know any of their names. Oh, what's your favorite music? <laughs> what's the youth? What's the youth of America? Yeah, tr I, mean, like, I grew up on country. Oh, nice. No, not country. Yeah. Fucking rock. These are uh, a gummies. What's your favorite? Probably Def Leppard. Nice. What do you think of oh, uh, nice old school? I like it. You know who Julia's Peter. favorite band is? Seven Mary Three. Isn't that weird? I'm sorry. Seven Mary what? Three? Seven Mary Three is our all-time favorite band. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know who the fuck that is either. Um, are you going, no, Seven Days Grace. Are you going to that concert? Three, three Days Grace. Two weeks of Grace. No, probably not. I've gone to one concert and like two concerts in my life. I've only gone to one in my life, and I'm 38. My, my first concert was Def Leppard and Poison. Leah Ford opened. 
That's who's coming to town. Uh, Both of them? Poison, yeah. Def Leppard, and there's another band. You're going to that band, aren't you? Or that concert, aren't you? I went there in 2012. Def Leppard. Who's on the di- Who's on the um? Docket? I see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's I'm on going. the lineup? It's Joan Jett, Def Leppard, Poison. Made in a marijuana facility. Um, was it Poison, Def Leppard, Molly Crew? Molly Crew was the old one. Yeah, Molly Crew's good. I'm legitly... I grew up loving Kiss, but, you know, I kind of grew out of that. All right, Kiss so we got sucks. some... Uh, that kiss is horrible. All right, so from all the things, one guy says John Lennon's his favorite. Hey. Oh. The other guy says, uh, or James, James, sorry, that's Don's cousin, says John Lennon's his favorite. RJ says he likes George. Now, do you remember this phrase? How do you remember the Beatles? All the Beatles' first names is John Lennon, George Harrison, uh, Ringo Starr, and Paul McCartney. But you say, by George, said Paul, sitting on the John. Where did my ring go? Yeah, I've, I've that's heard that, like, but I wouldn't remember. That's how you remember that. all of them. It's not like, it's not like memorizing the planet. It's now, my very excellent now, do you, it's only now Florida, Julia, man. Julia, do you remember do you remember all the Beatles from what I said? By George, said Paul, sitting on the John. Where did my ring go? <laughs> sitting on the John. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the John. Hey, Where for, did my ring go? Hey, for real, serious talk for a second, man. And I just About uh, what? What, what, what? Don, man. I just messaged Don, man. Oh, did he, did he message Don, us? Man. Oh shit! We do we have international listeners. Oh, no, do we? Serious. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis is in the house. What's up, Dennis? He's listening from uh, Cartagena, Colombia. Nice. How long you? Uh, how long are you there, Columbia. buddy? Huh? I said I dated the Colombian. <laughs> Did you really? That's just close. Oh, nice. I've been to Colombia. There's oh, nice. a girl from my school named that? Beach. She's a bitch. How'd it go? Oh, yeah. She just nothing okay. about me was good enough for her. Short, what size? Right? Yeah, she was. What she size? was thick. What size? Okay. She just nothing about me was yeah. good enough for her. She wanted me to change everything about Wait, myself. So I was like, right. sorry, stop me where if I'm <laughs> not big. Hey, okay. Just a fat ass. So, <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll show. Just Julia is turning into a giant, giant pussy for no, her. Uh, yeah. Nice yeah. Movie, okay, yeah. fine. Give it to me. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, did I, did I fuck up the rope? No, she fucked Well, we got some, uh, we got some Frankie Valley. My God, he's old. Is what he about, about him? That, that was uh, oh, Mercy. Oh, my God, he's old. What about him? Okay, Google. <laughs> How old is Frankie Valley? Oh boy. What about him? He's, he's 85. <laughs> we should have put Frankie Valley for the death pool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, love you, I, never, I never thought a million years if you talk about Frankie Valley tonight. You I have French that, onion dip. You know the Jersey It's boys. so good. We got chips too. <laughs> oh. Jimmy, quit eating the chips. When did no, Jimmy get the good. chips? Jersey Boys is supposed to be good. Have you ever seen your Broadway plays? That's supposed to be a good one. I've seen you the all pass that? I've seen yeah, or, uh, or, Ohio State over there. Your eyes is barely open. This is Ryan Curry. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yikes. I think someone else is here. Oh, last, yeah. last podcast, I woke weed. up like, Ooh, we should do that. my eyes were so red. No, with weed. No. Just yeah, how would we no. do it? No, we here's what we do. No, last no, Saturday we get like we get like fifteen oh, edibles, boy. like a, a Uno deck. Did you happen to notice a yeah, silver Taurus? So if you get Uno, you have to Did you happen to notice the lights were on or off? I did not see any lights on any cars. I would have came in here and said something. Thank you. No, no. I I have this like OCD thing about checking in. Do you have auto lights? I I do not. That's why. Yeah. Well, if you shut them off before, you should be gold. I don't remember if I did. That's why I'm asking. Okay. No, when you play Uno, what's your favorite Uno? Card? <coughs> I like the wild, Come on in. The wild card, right? Draw oh, five Brian. or whatever hey, the highest is. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brian Gibson is joining us today. Oh, let me know. Oh, dude, check this out. He has a thriller oh, shirt on. Oh, so he, no. ah, damn. Dude, no, 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 check this out. He's got Michael Jackson, and I got a Prince shirt on, dude. So it's oh. like a. Bro, oh, my dad's. My oh, I sure wore my material. I sure wore my material girl shirt, man. God damn. You should wear your Morris Day in the Time shirt. I got them funnel. I got them silver. Hold on. I got some of those silver funnel. Morris Day in the Time. Hold on. Jimmy, shut up. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, (laughs) this is a serious fucking production, man. Don't be bringing that baby bullshit, man. We're doing it live. This is live, man. It's like the Mary Tyler Moore show. Live. live. The, um, Don wrote, not really. All right, hold on. Yeah. Don oh, said something. Boy. Don, not really. What's up, Brian? Oh, oh Don's not all right, guys. It's a, we were in the, for those of you who don't know, we have a group chat for the show. Oh, did Don? <laughs> yeah, and he wrote, uh, I, I wrote, or Pat wrote, at Don, you all right, man? He wrote, not really. Oh. So we're, so prayers out for Don, man. Yeah. If you're listening, buddy, we're working yeah, for you. For real, man. We're, we're, I don't know. The guy usually yeah, sits here. Or is he just sick? Uh, he's Maybe going, he's just he's feeling like he's, he's been going through some shit, man. Yeah, oh, okay. this is cool. Yeah, I feel. 
You know what yeah, I mean? Time for it, old man. Godspeed. We love you, man. You know that. Yeah. yeah, his wife. Um, it was. It's a fucked up situation, man. Like yeah, she, 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 she like went. She said, "I'm leaving you." And then be talking about this without him. He's he, I just <laughs> he does care. Well, he about it in the book. Over he was so like, like, man, I, mean, don't I just care. feel weird talking about it without him. We got a lot of roaches over here, man. We got to roll these all in the next blood. You guys know that uh, the coronavirus is in Indiana now. Is it really stayed away? We haven't got Cleveland is coronavirus free, man. Um, it's moved into the Midwest, though. Supposedly, it's not. People that work at the hospital will say that there are cases Give just Julius, so not roll, announced. Uh, you're not gonna roll anymore. There's plenty of people in did Ohio. You, did with you bring some shells, dude? Just, they're oh, not sweet. announced. Yeah. So what? Uh, if you had the coronavirus, uh, did you see my coronavirus pool thing on Facebook? Nobody wanted to do it. <laughs> Me and that. No, the the coronavirus. I rarely pool. go on Facebook. I'm on Facebook all the time. Yeah, I know. Like I know. I saw. <laughs> Like fucking eighteen uh, yeah. hours a day on you Facebook. You post like every other half hour. As soon as as soon as Facebook came into fruition, two thousand four, <laughs> he was on he was on the ground floor with that. It was two thousand four. Something. Like I, that. Yeah, it was. It, it, Zuckerberg was came out with it old. in Harvard in, in February two thousand four, and it would release so, so many. It was started with just Harvard, then eventually did like by then April was all the Ivy League movie, Social Network, good movie. Actually. It's a good movie. I haven't seen it. It's, it's, it's it a little towards the end. Then he fucked stereotypical. up. Yeah, he up. <laughs> but he would release Sorry, release certain schools. People would check every day, like, "Oh, Auburn's on there." So we would wait for our schools to be released. You know what I mean? And finally, November two thousand four, they released ten. And I was like, <laughs> "What's going on, Brian? How's your week been, man?" All right, nice. Anything hey, like <laughs> in my face, man? <coughs> right in my face. We'll be the first person to pop in your face, oh, you mother. Damn. Got you there. No, popping. No, would you rather pop? I can't talk about popping with the kids here. No, I nope. Um, yeah. nope. You got to refrain from those. Anyone going to Wizard Comic Con this weekend? Oh no, you know what? Hey, listen pop up. At Wizard Comic Con up at St. Brandon School this weekend tomorrow. The Boy Scouts. The Jimmy's not in this. So this isn't even. I have no vested interest in this. The uh, they're having a rigatoni dinner. Oh, like, I love rigatoni. And man. for like I eight bucks, it's, it's like you get you all you can oh, eat. Oh yeah, see that's too much money. Ooh, I love music. That's, it's all you can eat. Yeah, but that's eight dollars. It goes to I don't the scouts, have. man. Eight dollars? Yeah, I don't have eight dollars right now. He's but like twenty years old, bro. I'm house sitting like a minute down the road. Shoot up there, bro. Him. Don't talk for him, man. Don't talk. Him. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna be eating for free for the whole weekend, so I'm nice. Like, nice. And it's my best friend's dad, and he's a good ass cook. He always leaves me some pasta or lasagna. Is he, or uh, is he ethnic? He's like no, nope. or no, nope. white, white as hell. Nice white people want to cook, bro. White people, white cooking is underrated. Oh, I, I love them. He's a great. Like, guy. White people cook hot dogs, burgers, and pizza. That's all good shit. Nah, they no, sell it everywhere. Nah, he, yeah. All right, so all, all you motherfuckers out there who say white people do it, shut the fuck up. Because white people own all the concessions everywhere. All right, assholes. Yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah. White nah. people know how to talk back too. Is what we know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. That's true. It, it, oh, that's a uh, garbage can lid. I think he's opening. Oh. Because nobody else is coming. Don's not coming. If he says he's not, we got four. And we're going out four, so it worked out perfect. It worked out, man. We got eight people sitting in here again. I know. Again. Last week was ridiculous. <laughs> What'd you guys? Oh, well, then we had eight ten. People. We had eight and ten. Christian, how was your week, man? Did you do anything fun this week? <laughs> Worked. Yeah. Got pissed off. Worked. Yeah, that sounds about. Sounds like my life. Got pissed <laughs> off because of work. <laughs> Don't yeah. forget. Hey, we got to pick up your mind a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what you're going to do. Oh, okay. You got to pick up your yeah, she's up at the she's up at the bingo. I ain't gotta go nowhere. Oh, she's at the bingo. Oh boy. Well, we had to, we had to work we got to work bingo up at the school. It was was once well it started out once twice a year, then it was oh, once a year, and now it's back to twice. Like a year. for the kids or yeah, yeah, it's it's like part of the, the thing. Oh, okay. They go to the school. Yeah, the parents have to have to work bingo once a year. Okay. And twice a year now, it's so horrible that we guys walk around selling instance. I'm like king of the mountain, king of the mountain, to all these fucking old people, and they're like so old. They're like a hundred. The one guy's like a hundred. Yeah, so. that's bingo for you. Like that's 100. why I said, oh, well, those like, dude, that those, those bingo people, man. They're, that's no joke. Man. The, 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 no, they, they don't with, fuck around. No, you ruin their, their bingo, their, oh, they won't want to shoot do you. Do not fuck with their their. their I gotta win. A lot of them, they have their own spot. They have. Oh, they said the same place every week. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people. Tom Lou, Christian. Wait, wait. I'm I'm in the black white one, so it's probably not me because I'm. You need me to move? Yeah, I got you. All right, Brian's going to no. move his car real quick. So those of you who want to know where Brian's going, he's moving his car. No, he's, I forgot it parked against behind no, you, so I ain't got worried about it. And he's like, any way. So when you leave, I know. Sorry. No, but sorry. These these superstitious motherfuckers. I'm going to go on right now. These superstitious motherfuckers. Oh, with the bingo? With the bingo and the lottery. What the fuck? Oh, my What boy. the fuck, man? Oh, my boy. Are you really going to 
You really need all your troll dolls, all your magic markers, all your, your poofy green ass hair and your big fucking Marge Simpson glasses and the pearl necklaces. That's good, really going to make you win your million bucks. Oh, what happened? Man, what uh, thing are you going to do when you get a million dollars? Ah. You really all need that. You really need that to win a million dollars. Ten million dollars. Four million dollars. It's like a hundred. No, you don't. It's like a hundred dollars. You want a hundred dollars? It's a church. Oh, it's gonna help me win. The whole, the whole total for the, the whole total for the whole night is no. like three grand. And that's bullshit. Like and that does not give you the right to be a horse's ass to people, to be a bitch to people, to be a prick to people. It was because it we're in your territory. Ooh, was, bro, 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 time out. They weren't that bad. They were just, you know, they were just there. Man. No, hey, you went on rants. I didn't stop did bingo, you on your rants. Did bingo? Did someone? Do you have a charm? Do you have a traumatizing experience from bingo? No, I just think they're vassals, man. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever had a Broadway bingo on you? Like she would catch up on you? And you no, and I'm just saying they're they're that bad, man. You know, bingo catch up. Nemo. Whoa. You know, if you get three bingos in a row, it's called an old McDonald. Really? I just made that up. That sounds cool though. What's what wait what you know, you know how you are playing bingo and you say bingo? You know what? Yeah. I, I, there. I just learned this. Did you guys know? That to um, the Scrabble, to the perfect. I think uh, like a perfect game where like if but the like was the longest word. I gotta look it up. But there's a term in Scrabble called bingo, <laughs> and I want to say it's yeah, because bingo's a word. RJ, you should come up for that uh, pasta thing tomorrow, dude. It's all you can eat at Tony, bro. You take it off? No, I'll be okay. all right. Yeah, no, it's just it's just bingo people piss me off, man. I can't help it, man. Not too bad. You got, dude, you go on your rants. Let me go on my rants. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I was counting. Hey, look at you. Look at this. I was counting. Bingo, bitch. Piss me All off. right, so, so, so for those of you who don't know Brian, Brian's awesome, man. Brian's a good dude, he's, man. Uh, he's, 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 he's a little... It's not. It's not really hot, buddy. Good so. dude. Christian's a good dude too. We got the, two um, good dudes. Hey, Jimmy, be careful all this stuff over there. Don't <laughs> be knocking that stuff over. All right? I think all right, we got four and a half. But the uh, half, Jimmy's yep. kind of cool. Except when you park. <laughs> except that's when you my park boy. At the end of the driveway and you don't let anybody in. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> all right, so let's get into some That's coronaviruses, man. Has there been any updates in the past couple hours? That's what I know. The, uh, check this out. The, they time. said, you know that ship? There's a ship outside. The Princess, Grand Princess. Only 14 of, people on it have it, something like that. It's outside of San Diego, right? The they, they, the whole entire crew, all 19 of them, tested positive for the no coronavirus. Shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. You didn't see Mike Pence with the press conference? I posted about earlier. People were like, what are you talking about? I was no, like, I, you know, I wasn't. I was work all day. I was yeah, but he was attention. so. But check out what happened. Read between the lines in this. He said old people are twice as likely to become sick because of the coronavirus yeah. or whatever. And old people are going to stay in the fucking house. If you have a job where you take care of old people in the house, you're about to go to work a lot more. You need to differ. Yeah, because you're more susceptible. Exactly. Well, old people listen to the fucking news, and old people probably listen to Mike President, the Vice President Pence, and. Should I wear my kilt to Wizard World? Yes, you should, and you should free ball. If you don't free ball, I'm going to make fun of you. The, yeah, dude, this is going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fucked up, man. The I think it'll blow over, man. No, I'm, I'm not talking about the coronavirus itself. I'm talking about the these over these idiotic over responses to the like RJ said up here. Oh, oh no! I mean, there's like seventy thousand people in China. That have it. Well, they canceled the fucking Arnold Festival. Well, they, they were allowing allowing people to the Arnold, the Arnold Festival. Is well, yeah, Festival. Some dumbass with the coronavirus is gonna go there and get everybody sick. I got off the plane. They said, "Get your ass to Mars. Get you the shower. Yeah. Which, which way to the festival? It's canceled. But the other kid, get on some steam bandits. Your show is horrible for real. I don't like it anymore after they cancel the festival. Fuck all of Ohio. You got coronavirus, Bennett. Fuck you. Wait, was it supposed to be in Ohio? Yeah, they, well, every year the, the Arnold Festival is in Columbus. Oh, okay. And the first three days or whatever, just like vendors and shit, they cancel all that. The, the last day with the big post office, are going to have spectators a lot. The first three days, nothing. Uh, and it's because of fucking DeWine. Now listen here, Michael D. DeWine, you fucking moron. Eat my ass because you're a moron. Yeah. That's all I got to say. He's a fucking dweeb. You ever seen the movie Revenge of the Nerds? That's how he loves his life. You think he, he'll he's going out this year? What's up? You think he'll get voted out? This I year? hope he does. I don't think it's this year. I think it's a couple years from now. Yeah, 2021. 21, 21, yeah. What do you guys? Uh, I got a topic. All right. It's, All right. it's rather fucked and it's kind of sensitive. All right. Uh, after birth abortion being Ooh. a thing now. Oh, I don't think it's ever really happened. I no, like there was a rally for it and people were cheering for it. Like, 
Oh, uh, pro or against? Like, like I don't think anybody bored, would be pro. Bored, like they were hyped. Well, mm -hmm. well, yeah. see, it's a, the like, me, the media. I would have to see the. I really, I'd have to see the media coverage on something like that because. Right. Yeah, because yeah, I haven't really seen it, uh, but it was on a TV at work, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Well, it's a pretty it's, heavy topic. I don't know. If yeah, I, exactly. I need to know more info on that. Yeah. I'd rather uh, – I might sit I might sit with this one out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, uh, if uh, – that's, I mean, you can't – I mean, if the baby's going to pass away, I mean, you know, and you're putting out of misery or something like that maybe, but you did – that's – there, there's, I don't, I don't think there's any documented cases of, you know, a baby being born in the border that that's. Oh, I mean, it, was, as it was just a bunch. It was like it was at the Trump whatever he was talking about, okay. but everybody got butthurt about it and then went and rallied. Dinner tomorrow about. is. Okay. Timmy, what time's okay. that uh, Ring so Tony dinner thing? Six o'clock, seven o'clock, something like that. Gotcha. Let me let me let, let, let me look so. at my email, RJ. Hold on. I personally don't agree with it but i've learned that you know you stay out of women's vaginas unless they want you on them so you know that's a, a personal thing mm -hmm. i don't think it's something well the, the whole thing is too is that i mean i i, I get that people you know do you they, think they, doctors are voting for it right well you know no, I mean? nobody like during well, the roe versus way thing you think there's a whole bunch of doctors like the yeah, whole, you know, more business for me. The whole thing with abortion <laughs> is no, nobody wants. We talked about this a couple weeks ago, but nobody wants to get an abortion. Like you don't, you know, you don't. You're not 15. Like, oh man, you know what? I can go for an abortion right now. It's a very traumatic. Yeah. It's a very traumatic experience for a girl. True. And if you got a bunch of idiots, you never don't even know what fucking is sitting outside the clinic going whore slut. That's not the way to get people to your side, man. Just just know what that shit. Is. You know, what I mean, sit down, get to know these people, have a discussion with them. You'll just find out you have a mob more, man. Exactly. You, you cannot shame people into believing you what you know believe. What, you know what they're going through, man. Those, don't be a dick, man. Exactly. Fuck Compassionate, off. man. Just yeah. ex empathize with these people, man. Really, you don't know what you don't know what people, and then just in general, you don't know what people are, are going through behind closed right. doors. Right. Somebody might have kicked them in the balls or kicked them in the you know lips. Or and something that's like just that. a general statement, not just applying. To right. The it's just as a general being a human. You, you don't know what nice. people are going through. Hey, hold on. Oh, I got the I got the list here. Saint Everybody Brendan's, has a story. St. Brendan's list for the week. Bingo volunteers for all. Oh, great. I had to do that. Um, meatball and rigatoni dinner is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Oh, in the Kenny Center. And, hey, listen, RJ. And two, this goes for you, Christian. You can get takeout orders. If you want to take takeout orders for the rigatoni and meatball dinner sponsored by St. Brendan's Boy Scout Troop 630. Oh, 4 to 7. So it's 4 to 7. 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. For takeout orders, call Christy at 440-227-4816. Did I say that right? Christy, 440-227-4816 for rigatoni dinner tomorrow at St. Brendan's High School. Or St. Brendan's School. And the Hill Valley Rotary Vet Club. Well, <laughs> the Rotary Vet Club. The Rotary Club. The um, it's blunt time, man. You've been drinking what? again, though. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Gibson is in the house. Save the clock tower. Save the. Oh, let's have a big Back to the Future ten minutes here. Well, let's uh, which, the Back to the Save the Clock Tower was awesome. What's wait? What, what's this in reference? I know it's in reference to uh, Back to the Future, but yeah. The, what, now, do recently, what's this in reference to? Oh, we're talking about the rigatoni dinner, and I was just being silly. Like, oh, okay, okay. Like, like how they were in the. Jeez, in the movie, they were talking about the Hill Valley Rotaries Club. They just have an announcement. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great-ass movie, man. Are you listening to the Browns game uh, like from last year? Just, just to recap in case we talk about No, I'm trying to okay. find like what I was talking about. Oh, oh okay. What about, okay. Back, what about Back to the Future? Now, what, what, uh, which, have you seen all three? I have. And multiple times, I'm assuming? I have. All right. Now, what, uh, now that, the, the fact that the, two, the Cubs won in 16 and they predicted 15, that's actually pretty fucking close. Oh, I thought they, was, they did predict uh, it, was, it was off my ear. It was the I think they predicted 15. 15. Yeah, because yes. in, in the future, they go to the Back to the Future. Yeah, because Back to the Future 2 is 2015. Mm -hmm. We heard they uh, predicted, uh, well, not predicted, but 9-11, uh, too. Like, did they? No, no, yeah. yeah. Um, Lone Pine Tower was at eight at nine eleven, and it's a twin pine tower or twin pines thing, and it says nine eleven on a thing. And then, uh, on part two, where uh, the dad comes in upside down, the clock glitches uh -huh. or the TV glitches, and you see the twin towers go down like that. Oh, uh, like, like wow. like we'll go get some more, uh, little some more stuff edibles. like that because we're the. Thinking about what? Please, more edibles. Oh, lit. We were really partying here. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's um, <laughs> what do you got? Cookies? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I kind of wish, uh, I kind of wish the future was, uh, 2,000 milligrams of THC. That's a true That's crazy. 
That was a lot. The future was. But the future, um, I mean, I, I didn't think we could get any uh, flying cars in twenty by 2015. But, I, I, I mean, at least hoverboards, man. I, I think, think those would be further thing. on uh, the medical. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think we've I mean, uh, where is that been able to clone toes and ears oh, yeah. uh, for a cheap cost. Speaking by of now. toes, do you know where I can get a human toe by 3 o'clock tomorrow? I need the pinky toe with polish. Ooh, sure. I got a guy. Sure. Well, you got two thousand dollars. I could solve my uh, toe guy. Thank you. Do you just eat four packs? Yeah, it's, it's easy that way. It's usually just twenty dollar bill. Somebody wants them. Mm -hmm. Twenty bucks for four? Huh? I might have to hit you up on that one. Twenty. I get paid. Uh, what? Blade Runner. I think Blade Runner took place. I'm have to hit him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like buying too. Right. Now what? Okay, that's a good move. Now Back to the Future. The uh, the, party. the um, part three or part two is my, probably my favorite. I think part, part two is the best. Part two is so awesome. With part the, two is hands down floating glory. One of the greatest sequels of all. Oh, right. I'm good. You know yeah, they man. paid uh Crispin Glover like uh two hundred thousand dollars because they use his likeness and just the one part where Marty's looking through the thing and you <laughs> see him dancing. Yeah, he like didn't write. Yeah, he, they didn't ask for his permission, so no show up suing for that. Yeah, he didn't want to do it. that. Crispin Glover, man, he had a screw loose, man. He uh, tried to kick David Letterman's ass, man. You ever seen <laughs> that uh, footage? He like kicked him. He started kicking, and he just—I don't think he meant to, but he just almost kicked him in the face. You know, David Letterman's packing like nine inches. They said, <laughs> "Yeah, crazy, man. It might be." Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to get. Did you one? Oh, okay. Right, okay, there we go. Yeah, pass the one. We're Wait. One. You got pass it to her. Yeah. If you're going this way. Track. Yeah, you're good. The uh but did you See, I don't fuck up rotation, did, Julie. Second movie predicted Trump. Well, they, yeah, they say that uh basically the the second one is the alternative future with Biff. You remember Biff goes back to nineteen fifty five and steals the sports hall. There's like there's like three Biffs in that movie. Well, right. and, 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 then, and then Biff uh goes to the future. And talks with old Biff. Young Biff from the past goes to the old future. This future talks Biff. to Biff. There's future Biff that was all pimped out with the gun. But they say that, that, hey, Brian, grab that. Yeah, uh, there's three Biffs. Thank you. The uh, old, young, and. Uh, but they, and, you know, and, the, and then the grandson. But they say Biff was based on Donald Trump. The character Biff was based on Trump. Was he really? Yeah, it's a crazy. pearl. I believe it. It's a pearl, man. She rolls uh she rolls a good money. She's... I didn't roll it. No, she rolls it. It's, it's, it's a pearl, Brian. It's, it's not far fetched, though, a person like Trump being, you know, like, oh. Yeah, I mean, a really rich guy. It's been a real estate mongol. Has no, you know, uh, real experience in politics at all. Just runs for president. Well, yeah. so Donald Our Trump best. didn't think Donald Trump was going to be president himself. But they, he's, they really he's didn't. A lot if, if you go back and stuff, they say he's going to concede. Yeah, they talked about uh, uh, Robin Leach is interviewing him. I think back in the early eighties. The unemployment rates down to like three point five percent now. Yeah. All time low or a fifty yeah. year low or since, something. Yeah, since nineteen sixty nine. Also, health care is fucking ridiculous to the point where people just don't even go to the hospital. They just suck it up. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, hey, sucking. Okay, listen for all you assholes out there who you know get on me and say only you know, homeless guys and you know people who you know pop and fucking drive through windows like Bernie. You know, feel the fucking burn because listen <laughs> up, motherfucker. Uh, I want you know I don't I want somebody to die just because they you know get a genital defect. Somebody gets, you know, their arm broken. I'll expect them to get a $7,500 fucking bill from the ambulance company and some stupid hospital doesn't even treat the fucking thing right. And their only treatment options is to get people hooked on these goddamn pills, which came from the big pharmaceutical companies who lied initially about their addictive fucking qualities and got half of the fucking people I know and these friends know hooked on heroin as the goddamn result. So fuck you and your fucking hospitals. You want to come to hospitals, talk to me about this. All right? And healthcare should be fucking free. You know why? Because we're goddamn humans, and the only healthcare options in America shouldn't be waiting it out or go fucking fund me. Okay, so all you fucking Trumpers all there, eat my fucking ass, all right? Because you know what? People should deserve healthcare. It really shouldn't cost an arm and a leg. Yes. And because when you go there, you go to go to the fucking hospital now. You talk to a doctor for five seconds. They don't do anything. Hey, you got to go to the bigger hospital. And there's a wait. You know, that's literally how it is. Tell me I'm fucking wrong or anything I said right there. I'm not. It's fucking bullshit, dude. No, you're, you're right on her. What's that? I didn't stop your rants. I know. You don't stop my rants, motherfucker. No. 
That's that too. Well, that's true too. You know, I, we're the most prosperous country in the world. Uh, to say that you know <laughs> they can charge ten dollars for uh, ibuprofen is kind of ridiculous. You know, I mean, anybody that uh, agrees with that, I mean, and, and not not just that too, Joe, is that you know out of nowhere they just said, oh, you know, let's make up a, a new branch of the military, the you know space I mean? fucking where the, we, we pay the yeah, most in force. our military budget. Let's go ahead and give them. You know what I mean. Uh, ten more billion dollars, or I think it was four billion dollars, or something ridiculous. Oh, that's sick. Huh? Yeah, let, let's actually, since you touched on the space fucking force, let's talk about the space fucking force for a little bit. I hope that sitcom is good. You heard about that, right? What's that? Is there a sitcom about space force? Netflix one. Netflix Fries. is going to have a. Uh, um, if you're a fan of The Office, there's going to be a. a it's called Space Force, and it's about the Space Force, and Steve Carell stars in the it. office. And the guy who created the office, excuse me? <laughs> the office. In the space, me, it's office called the right. office. Fuck you guys who don't like the office. But anyhow, great I job. didn't say don't like That's it. That's awesome. Huh? I didn't say don't yeah. like it, just it's not that great. I know you don't like it, right? It's terrible. The British There's some funny ass parts, but it can be pretty dull. Anyhow, do, you remember, space Force, uh, do you remember the movie The Other Guys? In one yes. of, when they're yeah, talking about yeah. how I just watched that. And yeah, when the, the, che- Netflix, yeah. the Chestian oh. helicopter was attacking them, and how the British dude said he was gonna sell the fucking Chestians, a uh, Chestian version of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Am I the only one who really wants to see the Chestian version of Dora the Explorer? That'd be really cool. I don't know. I Dora, come on, my birch. I ruined your thing quick. Is the actual Space Force? What's your take on I'll get that. it? it? I've never. Heard of a, any more of a waste of time than fucking money? Than, I uh, think we live at the right time as to where we're all old enough. In Ten years from now, space force is not going to go nowhere, guys. It's not going to be good looks. Um, so to put mass it in, of new branch of military to where all are going to have so, space shuttles or something like that. I mean, it's well. What what happened? Buying them, dude. I've been working for the government my entire life. I've been around it forever shuttle. since I was a kid. My dad worked there, and I whatever. And what happens in shit like this? It starts out really small and innocent, and then. It, Oh, well, we need our own recruiting service. Right now, to put this in perspective, right now, the active duty Air Force is about 350 to 400,000. The Marine Corps, which is a branch of the Navy, is about 150,000 or so. The Space Force is only going to be about 10 to 15,000 people. So this is a small branch. Numbers wise, you're talking What's one still, tenth the size of the Marine Corps. It's still a subdivision of the Air Force. Yeah, it's Force. Part, part of the Air Force. Yeah, yeah. Now, 20 years from now, if we're going into space and doing shit like that, sure. But to not fund NASA for many, many years and then to just willy nilly create a Space Force branch because you want Trump's name on something it sounds cool. So fucking it sounds cool. idiotic that it sounds cool. like it's incomprehensible. Like and there's no no fuck you know you space, know my feelings. Maybe he knows something we don't. Space balls called that like what scenario fifty one. There, there's there's more of a chance there's I, I, found shit. I guarantee you that everybody, <laughs> everybody at this table, everybody at this table knows more than Trump does about pretty much everything that Trump talks about. Not according to him. He right. knows a lot about everything. He knows I don't know, I don't know politics or how to fucking live guy. very well because I wasn't team? trained. I wasn't trained in life how to fucking live life and know what to do in life you know i was just raised to fucking know that well the other carbohydrates like uh play a game called if give you energy did it. i would really which like is a good thing that. to know I mean, if oh well it's it's the, the, the thing is too this is so ridiculous because the the democrats are going to nominate for unless another scandal breaks or two by biden biden's going to be the fucking nominee and when Biden is going to be the nominee, like four years of prepping and all this, and the best they could do is Joe Biden. Joe Biden has <laughs> early onset dementia, dude. He's not. Yeah, Joe Biden is not. So he literally stands there and just you know wherever people tell him is to go. Really, he does. I mean, is that a dude? Yeah, watch watch five minutes of Trump's press conferences. Watch five minutes of Biden's press conferences, and then think that this is the best we can do as a as a nation. It's 150 years of fucking people. That's pretty sad too, and it's all about money. Also, you know, it's not really about personality. There's a lot of people that are more qualified to be president, but they don't have enough money to run on being president. So True. the mm-hmm. common man has to know that. You know, they has to know that. You know, it's all about money, money finance. Yeah, you know. just as pretty. I thought Bloomberg. Yeah. Would There's so dead. many people in the world that would be probably the best president we've ever had, but can't afford it. Just saw weather forecast too cold for kilt tomorrow. Well, wear two kilts, like a protective kilt, over the regular kilt. Or wear draws. No, well, if you wear if you wear a kill, you got a free ball it. You cannot. You don't have to. I mean, yeah, it's like the Scottish law, and RJ is very Scottish. I will tell Scottish. you this, Joe. The Scottish I know tomorrow. When you wore a kill, you did not free ball it. 
I don't think I, I didn't wear. I wore a dress. I didn't you, wear wore a your, you wore your tidy whiteies. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I wear boxer briefs. Thank you. And I was in a kilt. It was a dress, and it was for a Halloween costume. And I, I still can't find that picture. Off. I have a picture of that somewhere. Do you really find that picture? Good. Then be able to find it. Renee had one too for a while. I wore a pink sweater with no bra, a wig. dress, a blonde wig, and I painted my nails. This is back in the day. Two thousand one. I still can't get over pictures of you from like the early. Oh. Oh, I still can't get more pictures of you from like the early 2000s, and you look a lot older than you do now. Oh, I know it's so and funny. And you guys, you know, and you're, you're you're hairy as some other, you know. And wearing those glasses, those little, those little like. Did they screen crack? Yeah. No. Didn't you see it? Yeah, crack. Didn't they? No, it's good. Oh, oh careful, careful when you get up there. Don't don't spill over that thing. That thing didn't drop. There was a there was a lid on it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. The um, yeah. All right, see you guys. Good night. Jenny said hi. Hi, Jen. She told she literally told me to tell you that. I can't remember that. So Jen, I said hi. How does he survive without shoes out here? What the fuck? She's not a good, she's not a good mood today, bro. Not, no. Who can? Yeah. Oh. Bro, I renewed the Browns tickets today. What the fuck do I do? Lose on Browns tickets? Oh, she made true. I mean, I, so I forgot to fucking tell the Do you reason. tailgate? Yeah. Where at? Uh, we just fucking pull up wherever. Muni when, when, lot? Well, I don't like Muni. When no, I, I love Muni. Do you like the pit? I love well, the pit. When, when I, I go, get so well, fucked it's, it's, up it's, at Muni it's, lot. It's like, it's like this. Well, the piss where it's at. A couple things on that. First, the shit. I don't, I don't drink anymore, so I don't really care about that stuff. I but, feel. But the, if Renan's paying, I'll go to the pigs. It's whatever. But I'm not paying 50 bucks to park. There's a garage on 9th we go to. We just fucking pull up there and fucking just drink, smoke weed right there in the parking lot. Just whatever. You know what I mean? It's it's fly. I love that. We can like nice fuck and just just kill it, man. That was uh, Barley House on West Six. Barley House is good. good. Barley House this is good. Normally I say away from West Six, but well, it's expensive at night. But um, oh yeah, fucking hate. It just depends who's there and who's going to the game with me and what we're doing. I mean, her not likes going to the fucking the pit. So if he wants to pay fifty dollars to go to the pit, I'll, I'll let him do it. I'm I like, like to do it up, man. I do the whole experience. Yeah, I go for the, the least amount of money. That'll get most fucked up. Oh, by the way, do you have any uh, Browns glasses? Uh, I got I got a pair of sunglasses here. I'm just saying, if you, uh, the car might give me a a pair, and I I lost some uh, earlier. In the I season. had a couple of pairs. I gave one away, and I got another pair. Of if, you have, if you have one, the, well, I'm sure training camp will get some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, am I still running for mayor? I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run for mayor. I gotta remember to uh, log into that website. No, just do wait till wait just realize I'm a DJ. No, no, 2020. This year, 21, 2020, 2021 is gonna be the mayor election. Really. I thought it was. Uh, it's Fuck. not every. Twenty seventeen is what. It's every four years, but twenty seventeen is when Kennedy got reelected. You know. Oh, so it's uh, it's out of here. It's out of here. If Trump if Trump could be president, bro, I could be mayor. Why the fuck can't I be? It's one hundred five thousand I mean, dollars. You really want to not just do it for clout. Yeah. You want to do it for the people. And oh, for sure. Why well, wouldn't you? Oh, you think I'm not gonna do it? You think I'm gonna go in there and just be like, oh, no, no people. I'm gonna, of course, gonna do it for sure people. Platform or is it too really? It's mar about. mainly a lot of it's marijuana based. That's, you laugh, but it fucks. So you really have what else? Do you think? The there's a, there's a, there's a, we got an older community. I mean, this, we got a pocket of older community, man. Like send their ways. I don't, you know, like, how are you gonna win them over? They just you go know, in there. You fucking educate them. You go up there and say, "Hey, Ethel, here, Helen, fucking Roger, <laughs> the Amos, there's there's a gas, gas bills. There's a huge pocket of them, man. I, I don't know, man. One, roads. Old people are like fucking sheep. If they, if the weed's legal, it's if the weed's legal, they're not gonna do a lot, but. If you, if you show them a body and be like, hey, look, old person, you can get on this program. You can have weed for your old so people. Like, no, no. You just probably a good thing like the roads and you're going to, you know, you're going to talk to what that. the neighbors need and what they're actually looking at. Or yeah, listen to them. Man. Disconnect. Them. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's there's clear needs in, the, in this area. There's building. They, they go around. And, hey, you, you need a new sidewalk. And they build people. That's how that's they raise yeah. more money. You little skeptical, Brian. You yeah. sound a little skeptical. <laughs> right? Well, Brian doesn't yeah. understand that most politicians are. Tall white dudes between six and six three. I'm tall and white dudes between six and six. Well, not even that. I think right. some of them have it's, uh, it's an actual plan in their head. They they're, they're good hearted. They they. Yeah, I mean, mean, a city like North Olmsted, good intentions, pretty much runs itself. Mm -hmm. and there's a little bit around the edges that needs fine tuning, and the, the around the fine edges that needs tuning is not being done. And I got easily easily plans for that. You can, you can Why do you want to run? To make a difference. The world <laughs> needs. People like me to do things because if not, then you know people like you or you know other blacks and gays and minorities, be, and women, they mistreated and shit. Yeah, I represent the small man. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm good enough, though. No, that's why uh, I would never think about. Yeah, I'm good enough for anything like that. I just think that 
I'm a good person, but I don't think, you know, well, you this know way I think it deserves to go to somebody that's better and they have better integrity. I don't like the presidency. I mean, there's a lot of good people. Yeah, I couldn't deal with that shit. Like, what are the qualifications for, like, what you're running for? Winning more votes than the fucking next guy, pretty much. I, I, mean, I, I, I think you just have to be a citizen and... He's got eleven. You have to. You have to get so. You have to get so many votes or so many signatures to appear on the ballot, and the people just vote. Now, and what you know, with the show, with the internet, all you do is say a couple wacky things, and fucking shit goes viral. And hey, North Olmsted mayor, you know, North Olmsted candidate for mayor wants to, you know, have weed in every corner. Is whatever my plan is. And <laughs> weed posted on every corner. I'll tell you, you know what? That would probably draw God. a lot of listeners. That's what I'm you saying, dude. You, you do that, the fuck run from here. The, the uh, fuck I mean, it is. I love you, man, but I mean, is is it is it probable? Probably not. But I mean, if you fucking take a chat, you from know, from a podcast perspective, exactly. I mean, people are gonna be like, "What's this? Who's this fucking Joe? Fucking think he is this motherfucker?" I'm gonna turn this all guy you in. need is I'm gonna turn, turn this guy, guy in. in. <laughs> I'm turn him on. I think before you really would want to do something like bad. that, man, you need to go walk around and start meeting your neighbors. Oh yeah, person. I'm gonna <laughs> How I mean, his neighbors don't even know who the fuck he is. <laughs> I know the neighbors over here and over here and over there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, oh, yeah. This well, would make me want to vote for my councilman is if I actually see him on my street. If I just see him. NBA him. breaking news: NBA asks teams to play without spectators if necessary amid coronavirus concerns. Oh, yeah, they're so all it begins. They're I got a question for you guys. Yes, when you were a kid, how many doors down each way would you know of your neighbors? Four. On Elmira? I knew. Well, let's see. I went to eight way. Or did you know everybody on the street? Well, no. Mine was different because I had a paper out, so I kind of knew everybody. My dad did too, so he yeah, did yeah. too. And I knew everybody on Elmira and Bernard. I probably knew like five or six, like maybe like three houses. So it was like a total of six, I'd say. How many three do you know now? Or seven. Uh, damn, that's kind of uh, deteriorate. Yeah. How about you guys? Decreased a little bit. Much. Well, going, exactly. going, this way, going this way, I know. Adam and uh, Jen, then over there next to that is uh, I know who they are. I can't remember guys' names. And then the house after that is Madonna Winslow's. Uh, How about you? Parents-in-law. While at my dad's going house. This way. So I would say the good I mean on, on this side probably. I mean going either way probably four or five. And then across the street a couple it just depends. They yeah. Move people. You know what I mean. On my dad's street, I probably knew like. Especially if you live somewhere he's for count, a long time. He's oh, all if you live time, somewhere, bro. if you live somewhere for a while, you should know. Where my coat, man. Well, when I, when I was when I was growing up, it was weird because like Brian lived on Nicholas, and when I when Probably I was, twelve houses on the street. Okay, and you knew everybody. Yeah, Nicholas. when I yeah I, I Nicholas, I would because I, I I had a car, I had a van, an Aerostar, and I would drive over to Brian Street, Nicholas, and I knew everybody on that street. Everybody, well, everybody, like everybody, they used to have block parties and shit. That's the kind of shit I want to bring back. That's gonna be part of the plan. You guys. Lived in the same neighborhood growing up. That's how you guys. Not well. I mean, uh, not really. You lived on West. I want to go to a block party. West Ninety. That'd be fun. Oh, right. 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 Blocks right. Right. Away. Think about if you have, so a, you have a you have a block party. And, I'd be you know, so everybody, and here's what you just you know everybody put in twenty bucks. You know, then a little bit goes to the city for security, and they just meet your neighbors Fuck. and have fun. You know what I mean? And block off the street. Exactly. Everybody have water balloon parties. And kids get to know each other. The old people get to know the kids. Stuff like that. Get robbed. Music. Finito. Oh no. That's gonna be their argument. Nobody would be – well, we would invite people, but nobody would just walk down the street. Uh, we was having a, a, a block party just for us. Or just yeah. a big old people friend. People in that yeah. neighborhood. You know, Games, you know. yeah. You, little water water blue. Yeah, water blue. So even though we here. was inviting, we would let people come there, but it wasn't just like, you know, a, you know, a, a, Not a group of three come. crips, young-ass <laughs> fuckers walking down the street. Like, <laughs> you know, <no>. the crips <laughs> or the bloods. Yeah, you know. Just stuff. People – the, the only way to unisolate yourself – is to fucking talk to people. Like, to get rid of... Uh, now, I can't ever talk about this on Facebook, because every time you do, people are like, oh, yeah, you yeah, snowflake wear. There is a serious mental health issue going on in America. Everybody in this room, I can guarantee you, has had issues with anxiety and or depression over the past three, four years. It was not always like this in the past. Everybody is experiencing social anxiety. They're, they're at each other's face for no reason. They want to withdraw. That is not the answer. You have to talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, talk to people you normally talk to. So I get over your mental. Say, I have something to say yes. to you right now. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> what a guy! But That's seriously, why I but you had, what you a seriously guy! I think it, it was. I think it was. I think it was a thing back then, but there was just less people. So people didn't it, it happen. You guys need him to speak at your school. Or stuff Hit like him up. I think a midlife crisis has been around since. <laughs> 
humans were around. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam had a midlife crisis. He just woke the fuck up one day, like, holy shit. Well, you, I, you have a lot of. I ain't getting no younger. Like, I'm gonna die. You know what I mean? Like that. Everybody is came through something like that. Anxiety. Well, yeah, but talking it out. Yeah, but talking it out. I would. That's a good. I mean, I would. I think I would respect you. I mean, I, I respect you guys anyway. But I'm saying there would be more. Res- there would be a, a good amount of respect. Is a hey, Joe. You know. Instead of going behind my bed and going, you know, right, right, just I mean, and, and it's not everything out there. You think I'm a piece of shit. Everything is well, like what you did too. I like that. That's what I do too. When somebody's not around, you don't talk about them. You know what I mean? I don't you know that shit. No. And you know how we are, Joe. We'd be like fuck Chris or whatever like that. But even then, when somebody when he's not around, you don't talk about our friends right. behind I, their back. And I wouldn't say anything to Joe that would say opinion, this. But I wouldn't say anything to. The Joe that would say to his face, you know, like right. that goddamn Joe, that fucking Joe. Oh, yeah. I would say it to his face. And when, when people talk about, you know, people, a lot of women, it is getting a little chilly here, I know. The, uh, a lot of women will post these memes too, but, you know, oh, you're not ready for real talk. Well, I mean, there's a fine line between being an asshole and real talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going like, to, if somebody's a little bit overweight, I'm not going to walk around and say, I, I like the meme that's that goes my dad's up. Wife. Oh, she she says, always claims to be keeping it real. Each other. They're like, bye, girl, boy. love you. And then when she walks away, you're like, that bitch and shit like that. Faggot, yeah, yeah, yeah. He walks away and he's like, he's a cool guy. Like, yeah, that's that's nice. Nice. Oh, I know. I that's like how him. guys are compared to women. It is. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, if somebody's no put, put, on, put on a little bit of weight, I'm like, oh, look at you, y'all. Yeah. No, no, she no, can't have five, 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 five. Oh, She ain't like, that. she don't get bitched on the phone about that shit. Thank God. I would not fuck with her. I would assume, RJ, that I could just, RJ's statement said, uh, RJ wrote, like use the board of election website you, for cool. their names and what political so part of the said, vote. if I can't fuck with you, it's not cool. Right. Okay. Is that, uh, is that, that public saying? information? Yeah. Actually, oh, okay. what they like, voted for last year or what they have Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming that my appeal oh, yeah, yeah. is going to be kind of not face, really. Don't do behind the line. Oh, no. Is that a product of gerrymandering? Well, what I was talking about, that was like, I'm not going to. My platform is going to be so ridiculous, and I'll probably run as a Democrat just because I get the Arabic vote and all that stuff. But you're like, you know. Oh, oh no! It's a ghost. Oh. Your tagline should be, "Your um." Don't be it? a hoe. Vote for Joe. <laughs> or uh, hug it, <laughs> hug it out, bitch. That's what I was saying. That both said it's a ghost. That's funny. <laughs> your house is haunted. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the damn wind. It's windy. The biggest wind you want. My car was everywhere on the. the uh, yeah, but I mean, I got a oh, bunch yeah. of memes already made up. Huh? Damn. I have a lot of Republican views. I know it's snowing by me. Well, I mean, so. the, the only Republican views I would really say I even have anymore are, you know, just go into everybody's house and take all their guns. I mean, it's not realistic. It's, yep. I mean, it, right. it, it, if, if we were starting a society from scratch, okay, yes, we don't issue everybody oh, guns. Well, when there's over when there's, no, there's over 320 million guns in America and over a trillion bullets, you can't just go door to door. I mean, it's just, there'd be fucking <laughs> yeah. anarchy. So you got to. Well, that's what I, I'm I mean, just looking at the registrations and stuff like that. There's a register owner. You're supposed to register your oh, gun. But I think that everybody should be automatically allowed to own a gun, and they should have to uh, for handguns. They should have to file for handguns, but there should only be restrictions on people. And other than that, I don't now, know. is it true that everybody you should have a gun? Everybody should have a fucking gun. Do they like Oprah? Yeah, you get a gun and, and you get a yeah. gun and you get a at gun. least at your house. I'm not saying that you know everybody should be able to tuck Concealed. it in their pants yeah. and walk around the street and drive with it. I'm just saying yeah. at your home, everybody yeah. should have I think a, every home a right have. to protect yourself. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, is it true that if you have a weed card, you can't have a gun or what? Yeah. I heard that. Where does it say that? Yeah, I heard that something along the line is that when you apply for a weed card, you have to have a medical disability, and psychological disabilities can be counted against you. For what? A, 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 a med card? Firearm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, for a med card. Well, I you think I mean? the thing is, I don't think they can cross check the lists. I mean, if you got a knee problem, no problem. Like but law enforcement, they don't want you taking Vicodins yeah. and fucking carrying a gun. That's, let alone yeah, that's I know a someone, weed card smoking weed. I know someone with a med card and ha- does have a firearm. And he problem, no problem. Actually, you do have a problem if you have any problem. Uh, <laughs> but I, don't, I don't have no me. I don't have no problem no, 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 at, at all. I don't. Play, play, I mean, I'm fun as right, right, right. I just didn't laugh quick enough. I got you bad. Huh? I said I just didn't laugh quick enough. You're good. You're good. I kind of threw it out of you. But you see, you know, that's I think the the rights that make. America, 
a, a country that should be envied by other ones are little that's rights true. like that. The, the oh, Second yeah, Amendment yeah, is because oh, yeah, that, that means that as long as that's a group of people last, are on the same level, we're never going to be taken over by another country. Because at any time, a state can succeed. Yeah. You know what I mean? They can succeed from... That's why I try to explain to somebody else, and I really got laughed at and mocked for it for everybody. But I, you know, the thing to piss a Trump loving person off, no offense, guys, nobody here. But the thing to piss an ignorant person off is you tell people that uh fucking Mexicans are Americans. Canadians oh, are yeah. Americans. People do get real butter Brazilians about are Americans. People that live in Argentina, they're American. You know what I mean? Because they're from South America. They're from mid-America. They're from North America. You know what I mean? So when people say, like, oh, you know, these people, Mexicans ain't Americans. It's yeah. like, it's like you know, come on, dude. They're more American than my mother's side. is because her side came from Europe. You know what I mean? 25% from that side. So Unless people who are brown usually, you know. If you, do the, if you do the numbers game, man, everybody that we know, I'm assuming everybody in this room, more than likely, you know, Julia's got a grandpa from Poland and some shit and you know, 150 years ago, all our ancestors are in different Came areas. From, yeah. We're either in Ireland and Germany for even, even, the, even, even the blacks. Even the black people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the country's only 200, uh, it's, over 200 it's only over 200, 203 years old, 204 years old. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like you cannot hate on people for just coming to want here and try to get a better life. And the, and the, the, the fucking, you know, the argument, oh, we're going to build a wall because people. The numbers just aren't there to support that anymore. People don't want to come here and get shit health care. Dennis has been down in Mexico and Colombia and everything. He's told me all the health care is down there. It's basically like you go to the store and you, know, you get your fucking shit fixed, and that's it. You don't have to – there's no giant weight. So it's like the doctors don't get paid as much, so the health care is not mm, ridiculously right. expensive. Right. There's no need for doctors to be making 400 grand a year, right. 500 grand a year. You can pay a fucking NP, nurse practitioner, 80 grand a year, 95 grand a year. Because it's a pecking order. If you got a, need a good surgery, it, it's you, you can't just pick your doctor. Like, I want the best doctor in the country to do my heart or my kidney or something like that. That I mean, is the exact problem with the current health care system. People like competition. Competition doesn't save anything. Grandma, who was going to get a lung surgery or whatever, is not going to be able to afford the the best in the thing. It just can't happen. Well, I would love to see my grandmother have the best possible everybody surgeon would. in the but world. Do we want to pay to for ensure it? her life? Oh yeah, you. Everybody will want that. But I mean, the best possible surgeon in the world is going to cost you know fifty five hundred thousand dollars for the surgery. Can we afford that? No, we can't. So it's like, you know, with the the guy who graduated last in medical school. All he's doing is reading a fucking book, anyways. Let him do the surgery. He's not going to fuck it up, right? You know, and the malpractice and the lawyers. That's another thing they got to address with healthcare. And that's where the savings is. Ding, ding, ding. If you're talking about the fucking current system. Well, let me mention this now. That you know, let, me, let me finish this real quick. And you get it. If you take the malpractice and the malpractice insurance out of health care. <laughs> there go your costs. That's your savings right there. All right. Finish it. Right. Well, the, the ACA or the Obamacare or whatever mm -hmm. it is, you know, I, I, I might seem retarded, but I told everybody I get, I understand it now. Five years ago, I didn't understand, but I understand it now. If, um, I have a medical problem and you guys are on insurance, but they're them two are not going to insurance. You guys are going to be paying more because I'm sick. You know what I mean? The whole point of the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, is that he was finding people that wasn't on there. Because if we all have insurance and one of us gets sick, we're hardly going to pay anything at all because we're all on the insurance. So we're taking that load of the sick person. You know what I mean? And that's what the, the less people that are on it, the more it's going to cost is because nobody wants to get, yeah. you know what I mean, group health coverage because we're all going to eventually get sick. But it's if we all get on, we're only paying, let's say, like 25 bucks compared to three of us only being up and we're paying 75 bucks. Okay. We're taking the load of the other people. And even then, I'm not sick. So whoever gets sick, we're basically paying for that person. But it makes sense because we should be able to. Say, well, if that dude's sick, he should be able to get the best help possible. Yeah. And there should be no problem for a, a ambulance ride, a fucking broken leg, you know what I mean? You know, vision, anything like that. Because we're all paying a small portion. Should not help you cost. Because everybody's going to get $1, sick. $1,500. Yeah. $1,500 should not cost an ambulance ride. Yeah. Yeah. Ibuprofen should not cost $15, five dollars five bucks, yeah. 15 bucks For one. And you know, my dad was in the hospital for like eight weeks, and we had to charge like fucking three point five million dollars. So after eleven, bro, it's ridiculous. I know we're happy. Right. 
All right, yeah, everybody, we'd like to thank our special guest today. We had uh, Cassie was off for a little bit until something happened. Julia came in the house. Thanks to Christian for stopping on. Big Brian's in the house. We're about to have an after party. Hey, Pets representing. What's, um, uh, what's that Vin Diesel movie cold. where he's in outer space and where's those big, big... I got to go. Back. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> as everybody knows, we'll be out at the... Uh, VFW North Homestead on April 3rd for the next county uh, laugh infection. I'm hosting it. Yeah, Pat's going to host this time. I'll be speaking. Oh, we're going to run out a new lineup real quick. I reached out. We got Mark Malloy. That dude's, that dude's funny. Mark, that, was Ma that dude's hilarious. Mark Malloy is out there. He's got some stuff on YouTube. He was on Last Comic Standing back in 2007. Who's going to be out there? That, that, is, that is South really of the funny. Canadian border. Des huh? Desmond he, Turner's coming out. He's no, fucking dude. hilarious. Who's that? Mark, Mark Malloy. Malloy. Oh, yeah. I met him like five, six times. The, uh, also, we got the, um, this other guy from New York. We got a fucking New York, New York comic. Yorker. I looked him up. He's got like fucking uh, 500 followers and shit. And everybody in the comic group said, sign this guy, sign this guy, sign this guy. So, yeah. So, 3-3. Three, three, right, that's on uh, that's April 3rd. And we're going to have Obviously. a program direction wait, pretty you, soon. Wait, how did you get this uh, New York guy? He's just uh, in the comic group. Oh, you guys are going to be in town? What's his name? Uh, in teen, something like that. Like, oh, careful, we're gonna take bro. care of this episode. I might, I might be in front of you. Look, jo join us next week and every week. Like, subscribe. Pat, take it off, man. And as always, every Friday at 9.30, we invite you. That sounds funny. a little bad saying this you, what's going oh on God, with the coronavirus. Oh, my God, a Sam and Dean, huh? A Sam and Dean. All right, guys. Love you. Talk to you next week. All right. Mwah. And.